Hey guys, welcome to the tournament video for the District 6 Fish Off here in South Carolina. This is a Bass Federation tournament. Only three teams competed. We actually came in second, and I'm gonna show you guys all the tournament fishing footage and my way in, and then I'm gonna come back at the end. I'm gonna tell you guys how we caught those fish and show you a really cool way to rig up the fluke that paid off in the end. I'm also gonna show you our friend Tyler caught the big bass of the tournament, six plus pounder. I'll show you a picture of that at the end as well. So enjoy this footage, and I'll see you guys in just a few minutes. I think I got him. Nope. Bro, he didn't even get the 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 thing. Got the weight, bro. All right. Almost got it. There we go. First catch of the day for your boy. I'm not getting. What is it? What you got on there? That, uh, that. Okay. Ooh. Got it? Yep. Hound dog. That's what, what the frick? It's a hound dog. I've never seen that. That is cool though. Has Mark decided what kind of boat he's going to order? I guess he's going to have a boat. I know he's guessing. I had to talk to him. That's good to tell him the boat. Yeah. Hey, uh, oh, there we go. I came off. Bro, look. Look at this clam, bro. Oh, cool. The GoPro's not gonna pick that up, but way out there. There's like three otters playing. That's cool. Now the hound dog's on it. Whatever it is. You got it. There you go. Let's go. Let's go, Come dude. On. Yeah. Hold on, hold that, hold that, hold that. Let me grab my scissors. I got braid scissors. Good job. Yeah, that's why I wouldn't come to play. Bro, you are a champ, dude. Let's go. Need a net? Bro, that's the first fish we've seen in a minute, though. Oh my gosh. Oh. Got him. All right, so uh, I should switch back to the flute. Yeah, <laughs> so. Flash shot with the drop shot here. I want to tie my flute back on. There's one. I took my hand off the reel and he just like came and smoked it. You were right. 
right it was all in the oh, it's all in that swivel bro Somehow got him and the net, so I can't figure out. Oh, I gotta get off the net first. Come on, come on. off the net and now he's off the hook baby first keeper of the day for me baby I don't want him to hurt himself. Shallow trees back there. Got a five on there. Hey, then I came back through, came back up, and the last tree in the middle before you go out had a three pounder on and he come off. Dang. It's like this, you just keep rotating it, like one would show up. Yeah. Damn this thing. Dixon Land. How many fish you got, bro? Five. Five. Oh, check you out. Oh. All right. Five fish. All live? Yeah. All right. All right. Ready? Yeah. 10 4. Oh, 10 4 5. 10 4 5. Good job, bro. Uh, TJ Stone, also with Dixie Land. With Dixie Land. Yeah. I just got one, one fish. I'm trying to jump out. All right, one fish. One eighty-nine. Let's go, baby. Good job. That's it. Hey, better zero. All right. All right, I got you guys on the music stand again, so my camera could fall off. I don't know, but I need to get something back. Here, I'm gonna try to talk my father-in-law and let me put like a tackle wall or something up. But um, I wanna show you guys exactly how we were fishing that fluke. Uh, the first few fish that Robin caught actually came on a gold rattle trap. We pulled up on the first spot and he landed all three like really fast. I put on the exact same lure, could not get bit for anything. And so we left, we pulled up on the second spot and he was throwing a fluke the way I'm about to show you and caught two really quick. So I switched to exactly how he had the fluke rigged up. So I actually was using the five inch Guggen Dart. I love this fluke, it has really great action in the water and I started fishing it weightless, but the way he was fishing it to get bit was on a leader up to a barrel swivel. The barrel swivel adds a little bit of weight which makes it easier to keep the fluke just under the surface of the water which was triggering those bites. And what Robin said as well is he's had smaller fish attack the swivel and so what this is imitating, this has just enough flash so that it looks like the fluke is actually chasing a smaller bait fish. So that is the way he fishes a fluke and after fishing it this way I don't think I'll fish it uh, any other way. Also here's a picture of Tyler. He won big bass with this six plus pounder. Uh, so cool. He came in third. Robin came in fourth as a team. Uh, we came in second. I was just happy to contribute to my team. But next weekend we have a club tournament. So I'm fishing as a non-boater. Hopefully going to pull out a dub. Soon, we're gonna start taking those tournaments a lot more serious come January when the points start over. Thank you guys so much for coming on this journey as I learn to be a better tournament angler and hopefully soon fishing out of my own boat. And if you're new here and you're enjoying these stories that we're telling, don't forget to hit subscribe. We're on our way to 1K as fast as possible. And I'm gonna see you guys very soon on the next one.